We know it's really important to give clear directions to students of how to complete assignments, especially when they're newer to Canvas. This has provided you with written text directions and videos and embed codes that you can use in the bottom of your assignments after you explain what they're supposed to do. So as you kind of go through here, if they are supposed to reply with video to a discussion post, you could simply copy and paste this into your assignment. Now, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you need to import this page into your course. And the way you do that is twofold. One, if you already have access to this in this course, you can just click this link and it'll get you there. Otherwise, if you're searching for it, what you will do is you'll go to the comments over here. This is where all the resources are. Then you can type in and find this. And I just think I called it student directions or something similar. There we go, directions for assignments and student tutorials. And then what you're going to say is you are going to import this into your class, okay? So you can pick the class that you would like this to go to. I'm just going to throw this in my sandbox for now and say import into course. And then it says it's going to start and take a few minutes while it goes there. So if I go back to my dashboard and then go into my sandbox, I will then see under pages this page that I just imported. I can click all pages. It's showing me my front page right now. And then again, I'm going to look for the one that says directions uh, that I just imported, uh, which is really the second one since I already had it in here. And now this is in your course. You could add this if you wanted so you could easily access this earlier, throw it in a module and unpublish it. And then basically anytime you wanted to use a direction, just actually hit edit and find the directions that you would like to use. You can pull this down to make this larger. Let's say you wanted the one that we were talking about, replying to a video, replying to a discussion with a video, and you can hit copy um, with the shortcut key, which would be control C, or you can right click and hit copy. I can then paste that into my assignment as long as it's in the same course. And so here is maybe a discussion that I wanted to do in my class. Let's say we watched the film Wonder all together and now I want them on their own to be able to give a video response to the following question. I put the question in there. Now to give it kind of an added direction. So if they're doing this on their own at home, they know how to do that. I can then paste in the directions and then paste them into this box here. Now I can maybe do a space. I can make this smaller if it's too large. I can also uh, give a tutorial about how to do that by either copying the video directions with the link, or if I want to embed how to do that, maybe we've never done this before, I could copy this code right here and how you embed that into the assignment. Um, you find where you'd like to place that, put your cursor there, and then go back up to this media button here and say upload record media. We already have the code, the embed code, so I go over to embed and then I paste that code there and will it paste into my assignment. I can then make sure I've filled out all the assignment details and click save. And now we have basically what they need to do and then how to submit below. And so that is how you can use these copy and paste directions to ensure that students know how to do and uh, finish the tasks that you're asking them to do.